Coming off just a little bit crooked, so I gotta go pick it up. Give me a little tricky. We'll have some fun here for a second. Well, hey guys, um, we are out on what used to be the sod farm and now is a house farm. So if you are a follower of mine and had watched, uh, not this last winter, but the winter before, we took pivots down right here. And they are now gone. And we have what was left. We have some, some junk vehicles and stuff. And we've already pulled a couple of them off. I'll just show you when we get back over there. But we are now going to grab a hold of that truck the frame for another truck that is a smashed cab and that mixer somehow. <laughs> we have no idea how that's going to happen. But that's what we're doing today. So Miguel said, no longer sod farm. Now we're in a house farm. And I got to tell you, that ain't no lie. This is literally where this last pivot was. So basically, they're starting in. If I show you over here behind me, they are starting in putting houses in. And literally where we took those pivots off just two years ago, two winters ago. So. Anyway, we are about to get started, so come along with us here. We'll see what we can do. We got a few things we're going to take up. Oh, and by the way, let me let me talk to you about this right here. Now, I have not talked to Brent about this, and and I, I but I'm going to throw it out there because it's he's just going to junk it at this point. The hood, the hood got messed up. They didn't do us any favors by moving stuff around. But you know, if anybody wants parts off this truck, come fast. There's a few things I don't know. It's pretty rusty. It's but it's uh, 60s, mid 60s Ford. Yeah, mid 60s probably. And uh, but if you want the parts, there's the parts. Now here, here's a here's a Jeep and axle right here for you. Boy, put that put that baby underneath your Jeep. That ought that ought to hold up for you, wouldn't you think? That's what about a Dana Dana 125 or something like that. Holy crap! So this is the frame we're gonna be hauling out to. And then we've got it somehow. And this is what's gonna be kind of tricky because this is a not a very lightweight piece of equipment. We've looked. There's not a whole lot of cement in it but we've got to get it out of here. So bits and pieces, parts and things, here we go. Let's go get some stuff done. Got to get our forklift up. Our new little toy has been very, very valuable in doing the things that we need to do. So it's cool, let's get her done. Okay, with a little finagling, we got the truck up there. Everything's good, got it tied down, we're here. This was our first load that we put on the back of the Peterbilt. So that's more junk. Gonna pull this truck off, set it right here, and then eventually one day very soon, hopefully, we will haul all this to scrap. Got a snowmobile, got the Brent's dad's old pickup, that's an 80, I think that's an 84, if I remember correctly. It was here when I started, so Howard was driving that truck when I, when I first started working here. And uh, I thought it was still in good shape, but they, they ruined it for us, so. There you go, so there's the old GMC, and we're gonna go get the uh, frame for that, the chassis for that cab that got tore off. So that's our next that's our next load once we get this one off. So that's that's our plan for today. They're putting a battery in the forklift over there, and, uh, and I'm undoing chains, and we're gonna pull this bad boy off because that's kind of the situation. So there you go. Okay, got that one off the truck. Yep, got it. Miguel's yelling at me. Oh, no, I, I'm filming. So, yep, got him off. Hey, and you know, if anybody wants to make a deal, it's sitting here if you want parts. Somebody who does big truck stuff, or old big truck. There's a, like I said, there's some rust on it. I'm not going to say it's not rust free. I mean, it, it is not, it, it, well, I will say it's not rust free. I will not say it's rust free. That's what I meant to say. That was the words I meant to use. But anyway, there's some parts. If a guy has a project like this, I don't know. Not a whole lot of viewers out there on my channel right now, but if somebody wanted that truck, I'm pretty sure Brent would make him a screaming deal on it. So I may be wrong. I've been wrong before. Got a battery in this forklift now. We can quit dinking around with it. Sorry, we've uh, every time we turn around, that battery was dead. So it's no longer dead. So I'm gonna hook this. I'm gonna throw these ramps back up. We're gonna get one more chassis and away we go. Okay, it's documented. I got it down here. Didn't lose it. Chains got loose on the on the way down. I got looking at him going, well, they're bouncing pretty pretty hard. Well, it loosened up. So we're gonna pull this dude off, and I got one more piece to get. Coming off just a little bit crooked, so I gotta go pick it up. Give me a little tricky. We'll have some fun here for a second. 
me a little tricky. We'll have some fun here for a second. Yep, who needs tow trucks, cranes, and all that good stuff when you got a forklift and a chain, right? <laughs> okay, got it unloaded, that was a little tricky. I had to reset the chain three times, but I got it off. Didn't tip anything over. A lot of dirt in the tires and stuff. But uh, we're ready to go get the mixer for our last load of junk today. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna see how he picks this off because this is gonna be very interesting. Getting clear a ways away because I don't want to have any fall. I told him to wait six or seven to eight thousand pounds. I thought he's gonna have some fun with that. There he goes. All right, boys and girls. It weighs a bunch. That kitty is how you get rid of an old mixer that nobody wants. Okay, here I sit waiting for Brent for the, another load he's got in the uh, dump trailer. But I gotta tell you what that thing weighed. I figured it weighed between seven and 8,000 pounds because that's an 8,000 pound forklift and it would did everything it could to get it lifted up, but we lifted it. It weighed 9,300 pounds. That was heavy and I missed it by a long shot. I was gonna say eight solid because I thought sure that that lift had just worked its guts out to get it picked up. 9,300 pounds. And you know, at a hundred bucks a ton, I mean, I think it's a hundred bucks a ton. It might be the 120, I don't think it's 125 anymore. <laughs> Hey, you know, that's a decent, <laughs> that's a decent payoff. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that sucker weighed that much. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Well, hey, uh, thanks for watching. Come back. I'm going to say it. Subscribe. It would be nice, but it would be more nice to watch. So, you know, if you subscribe and hit the bell thing, you know, so you can you know, come back and see more. Because, hey, I need more people. I, need, I hope that I'm doing a good job here. So come on back and uh, see what we can do. Thanks for watching.